hello lovely people hello Ghana hello family and welcome to my channel once again thank you so much for clicking on this on this video do like and subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification button so that whenever we 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 upload a brand new video you'll be the first to be notified and do remember to at the end of the show leave a comment let's know what you're thinking so ladies and gentlemen I want us to have a talk let's talk I want to show you a video but before then I want us to have a talk about our Ghanaian prophets our about our Ghanaian pastors about our so-called men of God here in Ghana so much is going on a lot of exposés are going on fake pastors are being uh, you know exposed hit left right center much as some of them are being exposed i'm sure there are still 90 percent of them who are as bad as the one that's, uh, that as the ones that have been exposed so far who are still operating and we do not know of them and even for those that have been exposed i know there are some die hard you know congregants that will not stop worshiping with them it's okay it's all fine after all you're not worshiping your pastor you're just worshiping with him you are worshiping your creator it's a good thing but ladies and gentlemen most of the so-called pastors out there are out for your money they are out to wipe out your pocket they are out to dry you they hang you dry to enrich themselves buy the big mansions the rolls royces take care of their family fund their luxurious lives with your one two three ghana cities it may not be money but a lot of it can buy those mansions they buy those mansions they buy those Rolls royces they buy those luxurious cars and their church members the very poor church members line up and they celebrated them and they are celebrating them and they say oh pastor you do all you do all aren't you worshiping god also if that's how god blesses people what about you haven't you been praying long enough it doesn't happen like that he hasn't been blessed it's your money it's your contribution it's like some susu scheme you're just contributing to enrich him and how do you benefit from that you have been as poor as always you've been as poor as you've started he performs all those fake miracles in other people's life what about you has your life changed ask yourself has your life changed so don't go to church with the hope of worshiping the pastor, with the hope of getting blessed by the pastor. Go to the church with the hope of worshiping your creator, with the hope of getting closer to your creator. That's the reason why you should go to church. You don't go to church for the pastor, you go to church for your creator and for yourself. We overhype these pastors like we, we just goodness like they are high and mighty they are human beings like us they are just a medium between you and your creator in fact you don't even need a middleman to be able to communicate with your creator you don't need it well i'm not saying don't go to church go to church pray but keep your money to yourself keep your money in your pocket they mix all manner of concoctions in the main of in, in the name of anointing oil in the name of uh, holy ghost water back to sender water uh, a janshu whatever and and you buy them you drink them we don't even know how safe these things are to be consumed i understand some of them are even mixed with sodium it's not good for human consumption and yet we consume we consume them just because the pastor said so they are milking you dry they're taking your money god doesn't need your money to heal you he won't ask you to pay seed money before he heals you no he won't he wouldn't do that he doesn't need it so from now on my brothers and sisters especially our sisters our mothers we are the desperate ones we are the ones that people are able we are the vulnerable ones that allow people to penetrate our hearts please from now on if you are going to church and you have some 50 ghana on you you have some 20 ghana on you some 10 ghana five ghana even if it's two ghana cities please if you want to do good you want to give something to god at least divide it into two 
put half in your money box in the house and the remaining please go and give it to your pastor to chop for free or if you meet some poor man on the way some hungry person on the way give it to the person buy food for the person and your creator will bless you abundantly to go and give your money to your pastor to go and sleep with somebody's wife to buy a car for their girlfriends mansions that they don't need and you go and then celebrate them and say pastor you do all please that nonsense might must stop we've come a long way god willing the more and more of them will continue to be exposed and we shall see all of them but please if you go to church put something in your money box it will save your life one day so check out the video of what this woman did money that she would have sent to church every day she puts it in her money box when she's about to go to church instead of uh, keeping it and go and give it to the pastor she will put it in her money box see how it turned out for her and take a lesson from it my name is queen rahmat Nani me ma oh yeah be da me mo kon me ma so ma follow on ma me ye yi de ne many boss challenge you know kan o do be be am tena as dey me share the me so me so my try do my share me money box na oh yeah o dey this guy no offense o dey to me so see the adam 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 ni na me so my do my share me na on na my e mo kita ni mo money box no go challenge wa chele hu Watch your papa. Until the mash me, but boy, no mash. Scared to do a man in room. No matter age, ma. No matter age, ma. So more na matter age, ma. Man ya bin. No matter so. Be so he am born in room. Must be born. Man ya no man can taste ya. In no matter man no. Me tip him bafu. Me on me ya besia. We fam a jere. Fancy. Me zina ya jere fancy. Nyo. Na me pada me mo me mo che ntima so na me bobo e ma azidi na me hu sika do do a me so me nyi wo eh so mo I will think outside the box. I can see my back up in the middle of the gumo. I have some more. Hey, baby. No, we're back, sir. Hmm? Hey, nanche. What's your question? I have a cast. Ma, when you be here, why is the why is the you? You go call no kui. I come home, ma ka ka ne ka ebe bum. Hey, eh, sir, me ne get through. Me ne shema ebe bum kwa me ne. Hey, this the on the on the oska kama mai. Chabai me the dread. I have a mo. I have a boy yard in the man. I have a must boy yard in. I have a boy machine. I na izin me humbo. 
Eh, me say we change for seven. Eh, my life be alive with shame. I know some me bad me me say me bad da. Na me da me da apa ni ma na paso me say I me take a try. I say na ma akumunji malu.